My official diagnosis was about three days before my 15th birthday, so it was not really a great birthday present, that's for sure. My mom was obviously freaking out, and I couldn't figure out why. I thought, you know, mom, seriously, I might be fine. You know, my family was, you know, all concerned, and I thought, I mean, how can be? How bad can this be? Julie was a typical teenager, invincible. You know, I mean, she thought this was the flu, where we can get be done, and it was gonna. And so she got really upset because we were pretty <laughs> full of anxiety. So with Hodgkin's, they kind of, it's a short treatment, but they hit you hard. So it's kind of hard and fast kind of a thing. And then once I finished chemo, I did radiation and it was uh, essentially a month, but it was every day, five days a week for a month total. I thought when I was done, I would just go back to playing sports and being, you know, a normal teenager again. And that's just not the reality of the situation. You don't really think long term, you know, your focus is beating the cancer and just surviving, you know, to the end of treatment. I bet 10 years afterwards, she was still fighting the fatigue so bad. And uh, finally, just the last five years, she has finally bounced back. <laughs> Obviously, my husband and I, you know, wanted a family eventually, and I couldn't really tell him with a concrete answer, you know, I can or can't have kids. I don't, I don't know. And I also, at that time, didn't really know who to reach out to to get those answers. So one day, I was actually on Facebook, you know, scrolling through Facebook, and there was an article uh, that I don't know if it was the cancer center. I'm not exactly sure who posted it, but it was about the transition clinic. And let me tell you, the lights went off. I mean, I think I went screaming out of the room. Like probably my husband thought I was crazy. I called my mom right away and I said, mom, I think I have found this answer that I knew it had to be out there. I said, this just sounds absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I've been looking for. And this is exactly what I need, I feel like. With Julie, because she is a Hodgkin's um, survivor, she had radiation that can put her at an increased risk for breast cancer. So she's needing mammograms and breast MRIs um, every six months. So trying to coordinate those appointments so that she can get as much done in one day so she's not having to travel up here multiple times can be more challenging for them because you want them to get the most out of their visit when they're here, but it can be a very long day, an overwhelming day for them because of how many tests that they're having to do. I am that contact person for her so that I can, when she realizes that she needs an appointment and this is the time frame that works for her, I'm able to contact all those subspecialties or the diagnostic tests that she needs. I'm able to coordinate those for her and communicate it back with her and work with her so that it fits her schedule as well as allows her to get everything done here. Being a cancer survivor, there's chemotherapy, there can be radiation that can put you at an increased risk for what we call late effects. One of those late effects that um, Julie in particular could be at risk for is infertility. Um, we try to educate them about the risks that they have and refer them to a reproductive endocrinologist to kind of guide them if they need to do some freezing of the eggs to have those at a later point if they're not ready or if they just need a little help from their, their, the specialist and going to be able to help them create the family when they're ready. The transition clinic is uh, nothing short of a true answer to prayer. It's been, I mean, an absolute game changer as far as survivor care goes. What are you doing? <laughs> they coordinate everything, any question that you have, uh, they answer. 
they are just totally amazing. I, I can't say enough um, about how much they're doing to change the lives of survivors, and especially um, kids that had cancer and then now going, you know, long-term effects because uh, studies are showing that there are 20, 30 years down the road, all these kind of late effects that are happening. And so I think they're really pioneering the way for survivor care, which is really cool.